thing has been pretty popular in the last few years. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this type of accessory before, but have you seen one that's made of soda pop? Mm hmm we're gonna make it out of soda can. I made a few different variety. This one, I just add a few little pretty rhinestones. Personally, I like the clean and simple look, but if you're bold, this will be perfect for you. There are a few other materials that we're gonna be using besides the soda can. I am preparing small strips of duct tape. Whatever colors of duct tape that you want to use is up to you. I just like to blend in the color so I pick silver. Here is a metal sheet can that I already pre-cut. You also need a ruler and a sharpie marker. First, we're going to make the double ring band. When you're making your marks, just keep in mind how wide you want your band to be. I already predetermined how big I want my band to be, so the outer two lines is going to be the half of the size of the center line, which is going to be the size of my band. So as you can see, the outer two lines is about half of the size of the center line. It doesn't exactly have to be perfect as long as it is close to it. If you never worked with soda can before, be very very careful, the edges can be really sharp. As a beginner, you should wear gloves to protect your skin. I find the easiest to fold the edge is by pinching the line little by little. Remember to work one side at a time. You have to be really patient with this procedure just so that you won't get any cuts. Once you fold most of it inward, go ahead and use the handle of your scissor, run it back and forth so that it will create that very smooth edges. The reason why we want to fold the sheets inward so that it will create that very smooth edge on the side so that it will not cut your fingers when you're wearing it. I found that the wider the band, the easier it is to make. So if you're a beginner, try making the band a little bit wider. Once you smooth out the edges, you pretty much end up with a very clean strips of metal that you can work with. To furthermore to protect our fingers, this is the reason why I pre-cut the duct tape. Cover the inside of the metal strips, but leave the tip for now. Despite how smooth the interior may be, you still want to protect yourself from any cuts. Leave both ends of the tips uncovered. We will get back to it later. At this point, you can grab one end of the strips and start molding it into a ring shape. And be sure that it will fit your finger. Once you get it to your size, grab one strips of duct tape and cover up the end. coming out from the end and if it's too long just trim it off this could be a little tricky to do but just be sure you lined up the loose tape on the inside of the ring it should look something like this but not very sturdy so I'm gonna use a small strips of duct tape to secure it the second ring, you just make the simple double ring. 
I personally like this look because I can pretty much wear it with anything. And if you also like this look, you can just simply place another small strips in between those double rings and you're done. And if you want to add the big bowl, um, don't put the duct tape on just yet. This is the design that I create for the bowl. It's pretty easy to draw, but if you guys have trouble, just let me know. I will post a printable diagram. So basically, I draw the pattern on a random piece of sheet of paper and cut it out into like a template. Okay, now once you have your design onto your aluminum can, now you can start cutting. Pay attention to the areas that I do cut and the areas that I don't cut. At this point, I stop following the line. Instead, I cut about one inch above the line. You will notice that I had trimmed away the excess metal on both ends of the tabs because they're going to be covered up like duct tape. Okay, now at this point, you also need to trim away the center two strips. Once you finish all the cutting, you should have something like this. I'm using the same technique, pinching along the lines. We tried to fold the sheet inward like what we did earlier, but since we are working on a curve, it's a little bit different. Once you have all the edges in an upward position, take a scissor and start cutting a small space along the edges. It is important that you do not cut over the line, so be very careful. Once you cut everything, you will find that you'll be able to fold inward one strip at a time. Use the handle of the scissors again to smooth out the edges. This time, you also need um, a nail file or sandpaper to smooth out the edges. Make sure to really smooth out these edges. Grab a long strips of duct tape and set it on top of a wax paper. Use the template again and trace out the design. This is for to cover up the back of the bowl. Duct tape is so much easier to cut once you set it on top of a wax paper. Don't remove the wax paper just yet. Be sure it cover up nicely. Once you determine that, you can go ahead and remove the wax paper and cover the back of the bowl. You will also need a few more strips of duct tape. Now you can start bending one side of the bowl inward. Use a duct tape to set it in place. And do the same to the opposite side. Here I make another strips of metal and to wrap the center cord of the bowl. strips around twice so that it will hold everything tightly in place. And go ahead cut off the excess strip. Place another strips of duct tape to secure it. Attach a small piece of duct tape on the base of the double ring and then attach it to the bowl. Be sure to tightly secure the edges. I added two more strips on both sides of the rings just so that it will keep the bowl in place. For the last step, just add a small strips of duct tape in between those two rings.
you guys how I add the rhinestone. Here I am using the E6000. I just dab a very small amount on top of the bowl. It's really easy to add them on. Um, you can use other type of glue besides the E6000 like super glue as well. Just adding a few rhinestones makes it look super cute. I really like it how it turned out. So what do you guys think? I think it is a great way to recycle again. So it really doesn't matter what kind of style you prefer. It could be just very plain or simply very bold. A soda can is so easy to attain, so might as well just make all of them. I'm sure this tutorial will keep you guys busy for a week. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week. May you be happy.